I remember how fleeting that moment of success was. I was happy, but then like two, three weeks later, I was kind of like, man, all I'm thinking about is the next game because if I don't play well, then there's backlash. And then after I play well, then I have to play well the next game. And after the season, it's the next season. And that's when I had an epiphany moment where it was like, all right, well, if being on top of the world isn't good enough, then what is? First, I got really upset, but then, um, and I felt like, man, like I'm just kind of like a zoo animal. You know, like people just kind of stop by, take a picture, and then they kind of go on their way. Uh, but I think as I got older, I really appreciated or embraced the platform that comes with it. Like I have a voice. I'm 27 years old. I'm able to attend the World Economic Forum. It's just, you know, a tremendous honor. I'm able to impart my values. Humility is a strength because if you look at this past year, um, why did we as the Hornets, why, why did we exceed expectations? We were expected to finish 13th in the Eastern Conference. We finished sixth and we we're, you know, a half game out for finishing third. It's because we had humility on that team. We were willing to sacrifice. We were willing to play for each other. I think if you look at teams that overachieve, a big part is they're very humble in the way they go about stuff. I think there's a big difference between being humble and being stepped on. If you ask me why is my high school coach such a great coach, it's because um, it's because he uh, he never thought he knew it all. Um, and, and I remember we played a team and we, they took us to overtime and we barely beat them, but they were uh, definitely less talented. And after my coach called that coach and said, hey, what is, you know, what was it about your team that made it so difficult for us? Um, and I was just like, man, that's like, uh, I could learn from that, you know? And, and so as I've gone through my experiences with so many different players, um, I just try to pick up one or two things from everybody. For me now, I just try to be more proactive about um, like controlling my brand. Mm -hmm. um, and so the things that I want to be known for, or what what do I want my legacy to be, um, you know, things like that. I try to be more proactive versus letting everybody else kind of dictate what they feel about me.